everybody welcome back to our channel my name is Wumi and I have here with me Adana and we're gonna be doing the popular Christian girl tag today um, mm. we've got our questions ready to be answered by me and Adana <laughs> uh, we're gonna um, give you our honest um, answers as much as we can share okay <music> That question is quite um tricky because I I was born into a Christian family like like when I say Christian family I mean a punk Nigerian Christian family mm. I'm sure my brothers will be laughing right now <laughs> <laughs> so I was born into a Christian family and I was brought up in the way of the Lord mm. um but when I really really say I became like saved mm. it was when we got baptized because obviously in like in Methodist church you go through like baptismal class and things like that and because they don't believe in water baptism and child infant baptism yeah. they believe you need to know what you're doing yeah. before you get baptized so yeah you go through the class and all that well I think that was when mm, actually like properly properly say okay I, I was like you know what with my own mouth by myself yeah. consciously yeah. god i am accepting you into my life yeah. because our teacher then oh my god that guy is so tall he makes you so scared he'll be like look if you know you're not ready don't do this thing because if you do this thing you're doing this you're doing that you know so i had to search myself to know that that was exactly what i wanted and that was what i wanted before so yeah i'll say when i got baptized then that was um i think that was in 2005 okay yeah right. great story um just like adana quite similar i was born into a christian family as well yeah. i'm in nigeria that i a christian you're a muslim or you're a idol worshiper traditionally <laughs> 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 but basically i also was born into a christian family and just like Adana said, there's a difference between being born into a Christian family and you knowing Christ for yourself. Mm. Now a lot of people are born into Christian families, but you know they get to encounter Christ much later in life. Mm. I mean, in those early years, we were just you know on autopilot. We were just following, doing what our parents say. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Don't get into <laughs> trouble, basically. Yeah, you must go to church. You must you know do all those things. But then you must pray. You must yeah, fast. That understanding was not you know really there that much and then my as i beca as i began to grow i discovered that anytime they call there are times when you listen to preaching and you get convicted and they call altar call this week you're out the following week they call again <laughs> you're out i always go out for altar call almost you know every time yeah then uh, um it got to a point where i i can't really place a year but you know I started to my relationship with God started to get stronger and I started to know God for myself you know um, aside from what you know people have been telling me I began to know God for myself especially when I started to study my Bible more I mean there's one thing about you you know getting to know more of God you know through the study of the words so I started to know God for myself and um, we are here today I don't go out for water call every time again because um, yeah um you know the, the the bible says the spirit bears witness in you mm. you know right now i'm a child of god when i err uh, when i sin I, I go to god and i ask forgiveness and he does forgive me i don't feel like that i don't feel like that um ah, what's the word to use you know there are some people that they feel like their sins are too much that they need to be coming mm. out every time for it <laughs> for it to be clean i don't right, feel that right. way anymore you now okay. have a personal relationship um, with god so basically that's how i became a christian so we're born into it and as time went on but i must say being born into it is, um, makes it quite easy because even as in before i like personally gave my life to christ it, it was like i i i i consciously or unconsciously know that there's god yeah like my conscience is always Christ like if you know what I mean. Yeah. My when I do something bad I go like mm, that wasn't a good thing <laughs> you know? But yeah, so like when you do something bad you know it was it's bad like mm. so it's been instilled in you like it grows with you and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, my uh, we're actually discussing this thing before we started this video, and I was telling her I don't really like have like a favorite 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 
fiber first because I apply it as as in I apply it according to the situation on ground. But I know there are two that I actually memorize first like <laughs> before any other like the, the, I, I was always saying it. I was I was I was always saying it in my in my mind um that the first one is Romans eight. Now there's no no condemnation condemnation yeah. for those who are in Christ Jesus. That was when I gave my life to Christ. That verse um that verse helped me because I always I always said it to myself like now I'm in Christ Jesus, there's no condemnation for me. Yeah. Um that's my um I'd say that's my favorite because that was like my go to verse. It kept me going. Mm. That's your one favorite book? Uh I like Psalms. Okay. Mm, I like Psalms because it's um the diversity and all that. But yeah, I, I, I do like Psalms. I do like Psalms. Yeah. I think I do. Okay, for me, um my favorite verse used to be Matthew six thirty three. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing. Still one of mine, but I now have a new favorite <laughs> Bible verse, which is um, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Ask me anyway, this is what I will tell you, my favorite Bible verse. Um, here the conclusion of the matter. Fear the Lord and keep his commandments, mm. for this is the whole duty of mankind. That is my favorite Bible verse. And um, my favorite book in the Bible, this is a bit tricky, but um, I think I will go with the book of Acts. Of the apostles, mm. well, that book is powerful. <laughs> the apostles performed the law of acts. You know they were, you know, manifesting and the power of God. And um, I, I like that book. I, they, 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 the apostles depicted um, uh, um, an unusual form of boldness for Christ Jesus, and which I feel is very vital for us as modern day disciples now. <laughs> I don't know if I have a favorite. Okay. I don't know if I have a. I, I, in all fairness, I wouldn't say I have a like a favorite favorite song. Mm. Um, yeah, I wouldn't really say I have a favorite song. Okay. In all fairness, truthfully, um, I could pick one, but I wouldn't say it's my favorite. It's just one of them because I like songs. So. Yeah. Okay. For me too. Just like Adana said, I don't. I don't have a particular favorite song. There are different know. songs that come in different seasons mm-hmm. that I enjoy um, at different seasons and all that. I don't have a favorite song, but I want to say that I love hymns um, because of their most of the hymns um, they carry powerful lyrics and all that. Mm-hmm. I love hymns a lot. But um, for favorite songs, there are a lot of songs I love, but I can't particular particularly think uh, pick one. My temper. <laughs> I'm sure my mom will be laughing when she sees this one. Oh my temper, my temper. Oh, I had to, I had to, I had to let that go, basically. Because mm. 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 I used to be quite short tempered. Um, I used to be quite short tempered, and do I used to be quiet for short tempered, and I could quarrel from here to Antarctica. I could keep married from here to Antarctica. Oh my goodness gracious. And you know that's one thing I think I've successfully as in God has successfully done for me. God has done a thousand things for me. But like it's been consistent. Like you know when you choose a new path and that path just stuck. Because it's amazing. It's amazing how I have changed. Like I barely get angry these days. I, 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 if you see me angry, then it's just that means that thing. That thing will anger any human being on earth. I barely get angry. I just smile at things, and the way I smile at things these days is crazy. Sometimes my husband will be like, "I'm serious." I'm like, I mean, "I'm serious." Yeah, it's a serious matter, but I'm smiling. Sometimes I, I, I mean to cry, but I'm, I'm smiling about it. Mm. You know. So yeah. Um, for me, I would say, um, <laughs> what's about to let go? Um, yeah, 
similar to what she has said because um, <laughs> previously um if you it depends on how you bring it if you bring it first she'll give it to you <laughs> <laughs> you know when you <laughs> had this program then you have the response to everything you're just you, you you wake up in the morning ready to give it back to anybody there's nothing you, you will know. say that there's no automatic response for you you know and um, I've, I've seen um i think changes in that area you know there are some times that i'll be like oh you didn't do anything because if it was previously, yeah, um, I would have, <laughs> I would have, um, I would have done something. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, oh my God! God. Thank, thank God for God! <laughs> thank God for God! Oh, thank God! Thank God! God. Thank God. And okay. this is just one of many. Okay, mm. this is just one of many. Mm. Um, the first one um, that was just passed about, like, was just difficult on this earth. Mm. So being a Christian has taught me that there's nothing on earth. Mm. There's nothing worth um, um, losing your soul over. Mm-hmm. There's nothing worth going to hell over. Mm. That That's the one major thing being a Christian has actually taught me. Mm. And it's actually made me feel comfortable. Mm. So at every stage of my life, though I aspire to get higher, mm, but so I'm content. content. Thank you. That's the word. That's the word. Yeah, content. I'm content mm. with what I have at every given time, mm. even though I still aspire mm. to get more. Mm. But I am content at every stage I am, and, and I always and I always check myself. State of content. And I always check myself. Mm. I'm, I hope I'm doing the right thing. Mm. I hope I'm still on the path mm. to heaven. Mm. That's that. That's my goal. Mm. Heaven is my goal. Mm. That's number one. Number two, being a Christian has taught me to be thankful. Mm. It has taught me to be thankful mm. because in this life there will be trials, there will be tribulation, mm. but God says He has come to overcome them all. Mm. Cast all your burdens onto bread. That's what I do. So I'm always thankful. I mean, <clears throat> in this short life I've been in, I, I, I've I've been through some things that some some people have asked me, hmm, Madam, I thought you said you're a Christian, but I notice when I say, well, God knows best. I leave it on to Him. If He says it, then that's it. It gives me peace. That's what Christianity has taught me. Content. Okay, for me, I'll say um, being a Christian has taught me that um, not everything is essential. Um, there are some things that we need to. I don't know how to put it, but you know, there's an order. Okay, being a Christian has taught me that we should, you know, put our focus on things that are eternal. Basically, not to you know stress myself over things that don't last, that don't matter. Mm-hmm. Basically, to you know channel all my energy into what we eventually count on the last day. Mm-hmm. And what we eventually count is, you know, whatever you do for God and all that. So that's one thing Christianity has taught me. Another thing Christianity has taught me is love. I mean, the whole theme of Christianity is based on love. Mm-hmm. Without love, I can't be patient with you. Mm-hmm. Without love, I cannot, you know, see any good in you. Without love, when you forgive, when when you offend me, I won't be able to forgive you. Mm-hmm. So um, Christianity has taught me, you know, to love. The Bible says, um. But God so loved the world and he expects us, you know, to love God and also love um that's what the most important mm-hmm. commandment, isn't it? Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Love your neighbor and love yourself. your neighbor as yourself. So Christianity have taught me that even though sometimes it's usually tough. Sometimes I mean people <laughs> when you people it's usually tough, but um <laughs> mm-hmm. it has taught me that yeah. Because sometimes that. people People view humility for stupidity and they try to take advantage. They view humility for stupidity mm. sometimes. And it takes the spirit of God in you. <laughs> you know, to just <laughs> it takes God in you. Mm. <laughs> because mm. sometimes you just want to explode for mm. um, humility is not stupidity, yeah. No, mm, it's not. It's not stupidity. No. Number one, company. The company you keep, mm. because for those who have just accepted Christ, that means they still have their company from 
the other side mm -hmm. you still have people from the other side mm -hmm. so i'm not saying break break, break your, your relationship with them but obviously the company that you keep matters yeah, so a lot so your company matters your relationship matters mm -hmm. that's one number two the house of god is where you find peace mm -hmm. Where two or three are gathered, the Lord is always there. Even though the Lord is always with you, but you you find you find companionship in the garden of the brethren. Hmm. So always find yourself to a church gathering, um, Bible study, prayer group, you know, a Christian group, something something that will help elevate your spirit. That's two. Number three. I say, leave it all to God. Trust God. This one is not easy. That's why it's coming as number three. But really, without it, you can't do nothing. Mm -hmm. You have to trust God. Trust, trust Him in your every move. Trust He knows His. Trust He's an all-knowing, all-seeing, all-hearing God. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know. I said a lot of advice, so I'm just gonna keep it short and give only one advice. And when you accept Jesus Christ into your life, um, you accept Him as your Lord and personal Savior, as your as your guide, as your everything, as your Father, as your all in all. Basically, it's your everything. So I would just say, sit at the feet of Jesus. And when we say sit at the feet of Jesus, it means dwell in you know the secret place. Um, oh. It's in the secret because the Christian. Um, the decision you are taking to become a Christian is the relationship you are building with God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So sit at the secret place, you know, when you study the Word, make the Bible your friend, get yourself a Bible. There are lots of Bibles out there, you know, there are different versions. You don't need to take them um, by those ones that you don't understand. There are versions that are easy to understand, you know. Get a Bible that you can understand, you know. Get um, resources that can help you understand the Bible. Buy Bible study kits and all that, you know. That will help you sit at Jesus' feet, to read the Word of God and pray to God, okay. It is at this place of sitting at the feet of Jesus. And you now begin, Jesus begin, or oh God, begins to reveal himself more to you. I tell you, there's nothing like having a personal encounter. There's nothing like having a personal revelation. Mm. So when you sit at the feet of Jesus, it begins to unfold those layers. Begin to unfold those layers. And you, be, you begin to grow as well. So you start growing from a baby to become an adult, mm. you know, in the, in the business of following Christ. Mm. And you begin to crack bone yourself. So stay at the feet of Jesus. Without there, you will be malnourished. You can't be well fed. Um, yeah, that's my advice for you from back. Hmm. We did say that in our first video. Yeah. So I'll just refer you to our first video. <laughs> to avoid unnecessary yeah. repetition. Yeah. Check our intro video. You know, mm. why we started this channel. You're going to get some. Um, in-depth explanation not really in-depth but yeah we said the reasons why we started this channel yeah so go check out that video mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and leave us a comment so we know you checked it <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right okay so that's it for today q a um we hope you've been blessed um i know i've been blessed talking about it just reminding me of everything again um yeah um do leave us comments like this video leave us comments share this video um leave us comments tell us um, answer these questions yourself tell subscribe. us about yourself tell us about your christian journey subscribe to this channel if you haven't i'm watching you <laughs> subscribe it helps us grow um stay blessed stay tuned to our channel stay encouraged stay in christ and we'll see you in our next video